Greetings everyone and welcome to the channel. On this week's top 10, we will be exploring the deadliest conflicts in human history. This week's list is compiled from Wikipedia and the listing is arranged by the lowest estimated death toll. I will link the source in the description as it is an excellent research tool. I will also be displaying both the lowest and the highest estimated as well for reference. Sorted by the highest, the list would change in order. Almost all of these conflicts, however, would remain in the top 10, regardless of how they are sorted. I would like to apologize in advance for any mispronunciations in the video. I will do my best to get as close as possible to the actual sound, and likely fail in the process. Fair warning. Before we get started, I just wanted to express my gratitude for all the new subs and members of the community, both here on YouTube and on Twitter. Without your support, this channel would be nothing. I am deeply grateful for each and every one of you. Now, without further delay, let's jump into this week's list. Number 10, the Chinese Civil War. From the 1st of August, 1927 until its final conclusion on the 7th of December, 1949, nearly 12 million people died in the Chinese Civil War. The conflict between the Kuomintang, Republic of China, and the CCP-led People's Republic of China was a brutal and long struggle. The war was fought in phases, the first phase taking place before the Sino-Japanese conflict, and the second phase which resumed after the defeat of the Japanese in 1945. A bitter and hard-fought struggle that ultimately saw the communist victory under Mao Zedong. The Republican Chinese were forced to take sanctuary on the island of Taiwan where they would establish the nation that still stands defiant against the mainland till this day. There is no armistice or peace treaty between both enemies who still claim to be the official governments of China to this day. Number 9. The European Colonization of the Americas For almost two centuries, the lands of America were set upon by the conquering Europeans. After Columbus's arrival in the New World, the resulting death toll from both disease and warfare is almost impossible to estimate. The huge swing between the low and high estimates really reflects how hard it is, and how hard it will ever be, to determine just how many indigenous peoples died from the resulting conflict. Through arms, displacement, and ultimately genocide, the nations of the Americas fell to the more advanced European powers as they expanded exponentially. The drive for more land, more resources, left most of the continent depopulated as the diseases like smallpox traveled far ahead of the conquistadors. This ultimately shattered the inland populations and made resistance virtually impossible. Number 8. The Dungan Revolt A rebellion of Muslim Hui and other Muslim Chinese against the Qing Dynasty erupted in 1862. Fought in western China in Shanxi, Guangzhou, Ningxi, and Xinjiang provinces, the conflict led to mass migration and death and misery for the people of western China. Initially started over simple riots, the conflict quickly spread into open rebellion against the Qing dynasty. This led to massacres of the Han Chinese, who sought revenge against the Hui. Deaths from reprisals and indiscriminate killings of the Hui people by the militias led to mass deportation and starvation. It was a chaotic, bloody quagmire that led to huge numbers of dead, and ultimately it was fought for essentially nothing. There was no stated reason for the conflict, merely a breakdown in society which opened the door to horrible atrocities which killed many and ultimately resulted in nothing changing beyond the terrible death toll. Number 7. The An Lushan Rebellion An Lushan, general of the Tang Dynasty, was appointed to his position by the Emperor Xuanzong. Controlling a huge force in the northern region, he rebelled against the unpopular emperor in the year 755. He marched towards the eastern capital of Luoyang, accepting the surrender of any who would flock to his banner. Capturing the city in 756, he declared himself emperor of the new Yan dynasty. He then marched to Chang'an in the western capital to complete his conquest. Defeated in the Battle of Yongchu that spring, ultimately An Lushan took the city later that year. An Lushan would go on to be murdered by his own son as the Tang Imperial forces reasserted their dominion, finally crushing the rebellion in February 763. Number 6. The First World War With the assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the European continent spiraled towards the long-feared conflict. 
a complicated system of political alliances, the imperial aspirations of Germany, all conspired to create one of the greatest tragedies in human history. The advancements and the modernization of the military created a brutal quagmire that would last for over four years. The shameless wasting of lives for little effect left an entire generation of Europe scarred in its wake. While the nations of France and Britain would move heaven and earth to avoid a future conflict, the humiliation of the Treaty of Versailles led to a bitter and vengeful Germany. With the collapse of the Russian Empire at the close of the conflict, this would ultimately pave the way for the rise of communism and the extremism which would result in the Second World War. Number 5. The Second Sino-Japanese War The brutal war between the Empire of Japan and mainland China was a conflict that knew little in the way of mercy. A desperate search for land and resources, the Japanese turned to the continent for the needs of their war machine. This war would ultimately merge with the Second World War much later in the conflict, but the struggle between China and Japan was horrific long before the war that erupted in Europe. For over eight years, the death toll mounted in a daily battle for survival. Already weakened by their own internal civil war, the Chinese were vulnerable to opportunistic invasion. Yet despite this, the Chinese held firm, pushing back against the might of Japan, only barely. The toll on the population was unimaginable. Hunger and disease tore through the country and left many civilians dead in its bitter grasp. Number four, the Taiping Rebellion. Believing he was the younger brother of Jesus Christ, Hong Shaquan set out to rid China of the corrupted devils of the Qing Dynasty. Hong built a movement which began to grow as the years passed. The Qing sought to suppress the religious extremists which quickly devolved into a guerrilla movement. The rebellion began in 1850 in the southern province of Guangxi. Initially a small-scale conflict, it quickly escalated. In 1851, Hong declared himself Heavenly King of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. The conflict would see many battles and sieges over the course of a decade and a half. Hong died from food poisoning in 1862, and the rebellion was defeated in 1864, after the fall of Nanjing, to the Qing forces sent to recapture it. Number 3. The Ming to Qing Transition For decades, nearly constant series of wars ravaged China. The Han Ming Dynasty were desperate to hold against the Manchu-led Qing. Natural disasters, financial hardships, and a series of war losses left the Ming vulnerable. The Jurchen united a huge multi-ethnic army over the years in their struggle with the much more advanced Ming. Twenty years into the conflict, they defeated the Joseon Korean Kingdom, a Ming tribute state which began to change the course of the war. With famine and uprisings in Ming China and the death of the Ming Emperor, the United Manchu Army conquered northern China, forming the Qing Dynasty. The Qing eventually marched south, and over the years, central and then southern China began to crumble. Slowly, the Qing gained the upper hand, grinding the Ming towards defeat. The last surviving Ming holdout was on Taiwan and was conquered in 1683, bringing the devastating war to a close. Number two. The Mongolian Conquests In the Kuril Tai of 1206, Genghis Khan was crowned the leader of all who live in felt tents. After uniting the people of the steppe into a single union, the Mongolian army set out across the world. The resulting conquests in Eastern and Southeastern Asia, the Middle East and Europe, would ravage the entire known world. Few would not know the leader of what many called the Tatars. Western Shia, the Jin, the Song, the dynasties of China, the Karakatai and the Khwarezmian Empire, modern-day Russia, and even parts of Europe would all fall to the ferocity of the Mongols. After the death of Genghis, his son and then grandsons would continue the near-relentless march across the world in every direction. The horrific killings of civilians were near commonplace in the campaigns of the Khan. Rape, murder, genocide on a scale only equaled in the modern era. At its height, the Mongolian Empire was the largest contiguous empire in the history of the world. Number 1. World War II The most terrible and costly conflict of all time was undisputably the Second World War by a vast margin. From the rise of Nazi Germany to the surrender of Japan, few corners of the world were not greatly affected by the six-year global conflict. 
Just the Eastern Front and the battle between Germany and Russia would be the largest and deadliest war in history in its own right. Yet combined with the untold misery of civilian deaths and the horrific Holocaust that killed nearly 6 million Jews, there was little doubt that the world was plunged into the worst that humanity has to offer. The continent of Europe was reduced to rubble, the terrible fire of the German Third Reich extinguished at its source. The vile Adolf Hitler and his hate-fueled crusade of evil set the world ablaze. The final detonation of the most terrible of all weapons ended that war, which changed the world forever in its wake. Men and women from around the globe united together in a common goal to save the world from those who sought to surrender it into madness. That will do it for this week's Top 10 installment. If you enjoyed the video and if you feel that I've earned it, please click the subscription button below. Also, please follow me on Twitter, at HadronTV, to be kept up to date with upcoming episodes and polls for the channel. Thanks for watching.